so my name is Sofia Belasen. Uh, I'm working in Almai Technology. I'm in charge of uh, design and fabrication of uh, high-power DFB uh, for different applications. But especially for mass start uh, project, it's uh, this DFB will be uh, dedicated for the photonic uh, integration. So uh, first of all, I will give you some uh, information about our uh, company. So uh, Almay, it's a, a startup uh, company heavily involved in advanced laser chip uh, product development. For uh, we address the data and telecom uh, market. So um, we are in operation si since uh, 2016, which is uh, it, we are spin-off of um, from uh, 35 Lab, and we are located in south of Paris. So in terms of uh, facilities, uh, we have state-of-the-art facility, end-to-end um, -end chip fabrication platform. Uh, we are equipped by uh, we have two. Um, Two clean room, one dedicated for uh, regrowth. Uh, in terms of regrowth, we have four reactor for MOCVD and two reactor for MB. Uh, in, in fabrication, uh, we have second uh, clean room, uh, totally equipped for uh, for the fabrication uh, of laser. Uh, we have the the, the e beam, uh, the edge system uh, for uh, to fabricate the laser. And in terms of um, in term of uh, photonic integration, which is uh, which is important for the master project, we have uh, a budget to growth, which is very important for the, the photonic integration because we can integrate the spot size converter um, for the as well for the our application. We are need to have very accuracy uh, e-beam writing, which we have with our e-beam. And um, and the ACBH regrowth, which we we apply for uh, the different product for the EML or the HPDFB. Uh, in term of product, uh, in term of product, we have uh, we add, we we have different um, different uh, laser. We have uh, the. A high speed laser for at 10 and 25 G. Uh, we have all the building block. Uh, we manage all the building block in the Almaye from the design to um, to characterization. We do the um, the e beam writing, the budget regrowth, uh, the rich definition, the ACBH regrowth, and the metallization. Um, I can, you can see the different um, uh, result, the different product that we have uh, currently for the 10G EML and uh, at C band uh, at 155, we have uh, we have reached a high power, uh, 6 dBi modulated power in fiber, and um, we have transmission over 80 km with the extension ratio of 10 dB. Uh, for the 25G, uh, we have two products at uh, C band and O band. And for uh, our application, uh, which is uh, it's the high power uh, incult that we have with the Ridge uh, WaveGuard technology, we have uh, we have uh, product uh, with the very inc with, with the incult uh, operation uh, more than 40 milliwatt. For the result here of the, the slide here, I show you just for the HPTFB uh, with the, the laser uh, done with the rich wave gap technology. So uh, regarding our object, uh, our uh, our goal in master uh, uh, project is the, the realization of uh, laser chip for low conception and. Uh, and is for optical uh, assembly. Uh, so the challenge here is to, uh, which is uh, mainly uh, related to the um, traditional chip uh, coupling, it's the losses. Uh, the challenge here is how to reduce the, um, the um, how to reduce the optical, how to increase and improve the um, the coupling efficiency. Uh, here we have. We have to uh, found uh, a component um, component emitting relatively high power, 
um, and uh, especially to use a spherical, um, a spherical uh, spot size converter in order to reduce the um, to improve the coupling efficiency. Um, is for this reason here. Uh, I show you here the SCBH wipe gap technology that we have in Almaye. Uh, we are using the SCBH uh, route, which um, allow us to have low capacitance, which is uh, important for the high modulation bandwidth. Uh, with the SCBH technology, we can um, um, we can we can use the spot size converter, which is uh, advised for the photonic application. And it's low uh, consumption, efficient heating, dissipation, and low voltage operation. Uh, what we need for the mass start application, we need to reduce the, uh, the power consumption. And with the SCBH, we can we can reach that. Uh, in uh, in in Almaye, we have uh, you see. Do you hear me? So in Almaye we have uh, both technology. We have the ACBH technology and the ridge wave gap technology. Uh, but for the photonic uh, integration, the more, how, how, as explained before, the more uh, the the, the, imp the the adapted technology is the ACBH because we can use the spot size converter and um, and reduce um, and reduce the. Um, and reduce the power consumption. For the ridge uh, wipe guide, it's not advised. Um, second thing, it's very really important to have good accuracy when we, when we address the different uh, channel. And uh, by uh, using our EBM writing, we can, uh, we can, we can, we can have a high uh, yield of laser and accurate wavelength control around uh, plus minus uh, one nanometer, which is very, uh, uh, helpful for this uh, for our needs. The sec the third uh, parameter is the the how to choose the how to choose the material system if you want to reach high power high uh, temperature operation for the wide range um, temperature. Uh, we have two different uh, material. Here I show you the. Um, the comparison between the conventional uh, uh, quaternary phosphor material uh, against uh, aluminium-based material for the equal uh, at 1.3 micron. The main problem related uh, that we have with the uh, phosphor material is the overflow of uh, carrier when we uh, increase uh, the temperature, as you can see here. Do you see the mouse? Yes. Uh, okay. So the difference, uh, the main problem with the, if we work with the phosphor uh, material, it's when we work at 1.3 micron, the, um, we, we will not have uh, confinement of carrier in the quantum well. We will have overflow, which means that we cannot reach high temperature. It's for the reason it's very interesting to work with uh, this quaternary material based on uh, aluminum base because we have very high confinement of electron if you compare with uh, phosphor. Uh, the difference uh, it's uh, um, the confinement for the electron it's 72% uh, in the aluminum and 40% 40, 40 in the phosphor which means that uh, the aluminum, it's very, uh, it's very, um, we, 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 we will focus our work with the, on this uh, material system if we want to reach large temperature uh, range. It's the only thing, it's uh, when, if you want to use this material with the SCBH technology, we have uh, especially damage and cont uh, contamination, which um, mainly uh, occur in the, on the side well when we etch uh, the ridge. Uh, I show you here. Uh, typically, the the problem that we have when we use the aluminum-based CBH technology, we have a lot of leakage current, uh, even at uh, 25 degree, and this is mainly due to the um, the, the the leakage current and uh, the contamination, especially because we have an uh, aluminum uh, system. Uh, in order to overcome this problem, we have uh, changed the ACBH standard technology. We have used two other uh, blocking layers, 
on the left here, I show you the, um, the BRS buried ethyl structure. When we here we have removed the ACBH uh, layer and replaced it by um, P layer. On the right, we have we have stack P and N indium phosphide current blocking layer. And in order to improve and reduce uh, the leakage current, on the next slide. Uh, here I show you what we had last year uh, by using the standard SCBH. We see that here the red curve here that we are really limited at 25 degree. We never exceed 20, uh, 20 milliwatt. By introduce this improvement and change the stack layer in uh, in the SCBH, we have increased the. You see here the red curve here. That we have uh, increased, um, we have increased the output power to 40, uh, 45 uh, milliwatt. Uh, on the left here, I just show you the um, the, the T0 of the last uh, SCBH and the new SCBH. When in the past we had uh, around 38 uh, Kelvin, and now we have 78 Kelvin. This is this result. It translate this value translate that. Uh, we can have a really in cool uh, operation with this material system by uh, bringing this uh, modification. And what we plan to use uh, on the next, uh, next uh, wafer. Now, if we want to continue work uh, with the aluminum free based multi quantum well design, I, I show you before that with the standard um, phosphor uh, material, we cannot reach the encode operation. Uh, we have used another material. Here I just give you a comparison between aluminum system and, uh, and uh, phosphor system with the new uh, quantum well here. We have used a new quantum well when we have improved the confinement of electron which is uh, almost close to the aluminum system. And with this uh, new material uh, phosphor based, we have improved, uh, we have improved uh, the temperature operation and we can reach uh, 40 milliwatt at uh, 85 degree. What we, what we, what we, we have used for the demo one and demo two. And based on this uh, material, we have uh, fabricate a uh, wafer to address uh, to uh, to address the the demo one uh, where the uh, the specification it was uh, to reach um, in cold operation and uh, four wavelengths. Uh, here on the left, you can see the PI. Uh, characteristic of this laser that we finished uh, last uh, last month. Here we have uh, PI at 25 degree and 85 degree. And 85 degree from the specification we we had to get uh, 16 dBm. That's what we have. 16 dBm at around uh, two uh, at around three uh, yeah at around 250 uh, milliamp. And in terms of uh, wavelength, we have SNSR uh, over 45 uh, dB, and we we have a wavelength around 1311 nanometer. And uh, we can see, we, 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 we can say that we, we have fulfilled all the specification for the demo one. For the demo two, uh, the specification was to uh, to have uh, eight channel. Uh, with wide, um, wide, uh, we, we have to cover eight channel from 12, uh, 12 73 to 1309, which is really difficult to because here we need to cover uh, uh, at least 30, uh, 38 nanometer. Uh, here I show you the uh, PI uh, on the left. You can see the the PI of the the laser at 45 degree. All the channels are exceed the, 60, the 18 dBm, and here on the right you see the the spectrum. We have addressed all the the channels, and with the SMSR uh, over 35 dB. Uh, also, for the laser voltage, we have always less than 1.6 uh, voltage.
uh, volt, uh, sorry. Uh, so in term of, uh, I can conclude that uh, thanks to our uh, semi-isolating uh, isolating bird heat platform, we have uh, we have uh, fulfilled all the specification of demo one and uh, demo two in term of uh, temperature operation and uh, uh, channel.